Hey guys, today we're going to talk about John and Rob. Now, Rob used to be my favorite character, but I couldn't escape his flaws. Rob made more than a few mistakes as King of the North, and many felt that he brought his demise upon himself. After he died, whenever I'd read a comparison between John and Rob, John was described as the big picture planner, and it said that if John was with Rob, everything would have been different. Let's see how much of this is actually true. First, let's take a look at the pair. Rob was born to be Lord of Winterfell. Out of all the Stark kids, he was the only one that had a good relationship with all the other children. This unfortunately includes Mr. Theon Grey without his joy. Man, his sister is cruel bringing him to a brothel. Since it's my last night ashore for a long while, I'm gonna go fuck the tits off this one. Anyway, uh, sidetracked. He got along with everyone. As much as John was jealous of Rob, he also felt guilty every time he allowed himself to feel that jealousy because of how much he truly liked his brother. And you can see here that Rob cared for John as well. My mother, she was very kind. Oh, good. Next time I see you, you'll be all in black. It was always my color. I farewell, Snow. And you, Stark. Rob should also get a huge amount of credit for the leader that he was. Though he was only 17 and 15 in the books, people followed him. He fought in the thick of the fight himself. He got respect from his enemies, which forced them to attempt to defeat him off the battlefield in the end. John, on the other hand, grew up in a place that he didn't feel was his home. Thanks to Caitlin, Sansa, and how everyone outside of the family treated him like a bastard. Now, it wasn't everyone. Rob, Arya, and Bran saw him as a brother. But he still felt like he didn't belong, and was much more quiet and reserved and kept to himself, unlike Rob. So he joined the Night's Watch, because he wanted to be in a place where everyone, even bastards, are equal. He of course got there and saw that things are never quite as simple as we believe, but like his brother, yeah, I know they're not technically brothers, he is someone people follow. He might be less charismatic than Rob, but he's a leader all the same. But underneath it all, they're both really the same person. Well, I might be over-exaggerating this a little bit, but I'm making a good point here. We already established that they're both leaders people want to follow, but let's look at their mistakes. I think we can all agree that Rob's first and biggest mistake was breaking his vow to the phrase and marrying someone else. But John did almost the same thing. He made his vows as a member of the Night's Watch, then broke it to be with Egret. These two acts had different results, but at their core, both of them break a vow for love, and dare I say that the vow John broke was at least supposed to be more sacred, and don't tell me John broke his because it was part of a plan to fool the wildlings. No, he fell in love and broke his oath, same as Rob. Another mistake Rob made was killing the head of the Karstark family. In the third season, the head of the Karstark family killed Lannister captives because his sons were killed by Jaime, and he saw this as revenge. Rob decided that this offense should be punished by death. No matter how highborn, he has to die. The cast dogs are Northmen. They won't forgive the killing of their lord. Your mother's right. If you do this, the cast dogs will abandon you. It cost him many soldiers, and I bet at least some of his own bannermen didn't agree with this decision. He was told by his wife, mother, and other advisors that it was a huge mistake, but he did so anyway because it was the right thing to do. At least it was in his eyes, because it was what he learned from his father. Lo and behold, John did something eerily similar. In the fifth season, he executed Jason Slint. Which, fun fact that probably everyone knows already, but I noticed only on a second viewing. Jason Slint was in the first and second season. He was the one in charge of the city watch in King's Landing, and he was one of the people who betrayed Ned Stark. Anyway, because this guy tried to challenge John's authority and refused a command from John directly, John executed him. Those two things are basically the same, and yes, no one told John not to kill him, but no one really had the chance to, and I suspect a lot of people didn't appreciate him. The final mistake Rob made, which was the nail in his coffin, so to speak, was trusting people too much. Like Roose Bolton, a bannerman of his who stabbed him in the stomach and killed him. John was killed by his own steward, Ali, who was the one who brought John to his death and also stabbed him in the stomach. The Lannisters send their regards. Ollie. 
The biggest difference between John and Rob is that John was resurrected, and we hope learned from his mistakes. But what if the parallel doesn't stop there? The biggest betrayal Rob experienced was by Theon, a man he considered to be his brother. And for those of you who saw my Sansa video, maybe history is going to repeat itself. Because it doesn't look like John really learned from his mistakes yet. And he seems trusting as usual. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. This is a discussion video about different things that happen in the show that, if you guys like, I'll make more. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And do follow me at, at WatchersPod so I have a reason to tweet.